How do you get from Puebla to Tehuacan? Keep watching and I'll show you step by step by taking myself from here to Tehuacan. I'm in the Uber and I'm heading to Autobuses Estrella Roja Capo. That's where I'll catch a bus. The driver said that there's a direct one that only takes an hour and a half to get there. I'm here at the bus station. I know it looks more like an airport. It's actually like a ground airport for buses because the infrastructure for buses is so much better in here and so affordable. The driver said I should go to Au, which is that one right there. And I'll check out the bus price and let's check out their schedule. Hola. Buenas tardes. Uh, por favor, uno paleto uh, por uh, Tehuacan. Uh, mi qué? Oh, cien, asiento. Oh, asiento a uh, uh, dos y cuatro. Veinte y ocho. Sí. Veinte y ocho. Second time I need to enter my name. Okay. Cuando es próximo? Próximo. 105 pesos so far. All right, so I just embarked on this bus. There's less comfort here than the one I took uh, from Mexico City to Puebla. For 105 paces here versus 228, I'll take this. Only costs like five bucks to get from Puebla to Tehuacan, and it should take no more than an hour and a half. It's direct. So let's see how it goes. Last time I was traveling with Ado. ADO, I don't know how to pronounce it. This time I'm traveling with AU and with the basic package. Yes, there's no TVs and sound system and everything like that, but I don't I don't really care about it. Air conditioning is still here. They actually have air conditioning, so it's a pretty good deal. It's 25 degrees inside, very comfortable. And I'm about to take a nap because I'm passing out from the comfort here. Regarding the luggage, so I have one traveling uh, camping backpack and I left it down there before entering the bus and the guy who was loading them in, he placed a sticker on it and gave me the other part of the ticket. On the way out, they're not gonna give you the backpack unless you, unless you present the part of the ticket that he gave you. I was about to order Uber, but then I found the location of my Airbnb on the map and I didn't realize how close it is. It's a four minute walk. So I'm here, I have to wait for the host because she said at 4.30, but I already bought some pitayas. There is a lot of fruits here, right across the street from where I'm staying. place. This is where I'll be living for next four nights. This is the tiniest room I've lived in so far, but I don't mind. The bed is small, there are like two pillows. I I'm only gonna use one. And there's like a couple of spiders walking around, but I kind of kick them out. The limon tree growing right outside of my door in case if I want to make some guacamole. <laughs> 